power in the blood. No matter what nationality, no matter what language, no matter what skin color, there's power in the blood. Still works today. Sets captives free. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lina Mantla. In the Zulu tongue, he says, Lina Mantla. There's power. Ekazi Lemfana in the blood of the Lamb. In Afrikaans or Dutch, that is krach. Can you say krach? Krach. 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 Hallelujah. Ah, uh, poder. Little Spanish in the house. I don't quite know how to say it in Southern. How y'all say it in Southern? Y'all, there's power now. I don't know. I'm working on it. Be seated in the house. Be seated in the house. Woo. See what y'all do. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm just t- bragging on Jesus. We got the best worship team in the whole world right here. The whole world. The whole world, man. Believe me, I've traveled. Love what I feel when I feel what I feel. Mm-hmm. He's a good God. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. My message this morning. Hmm, there is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. Lest we forget there is power. In the name of Jesus. Listen, there's no chain that he cannot break. There's no shackle. There's no fetter. There's no bondage that he can't set you free from. How many is here being set free? You're a living testimony. Being set free by the power that is in his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't even know where to start, but we're going to say 
Welcome to all God's people from all over the world. They're watching us. Oh yeah, all the way in Africa, all the way in other countries. We're getting news. So would you help me make welcome those from around the world via television, internet, on Facebook, uh, email. However, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome. 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 Wish you were here. But uh, maybe next time. Amen. A church alive is worth a drive. Sure is, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many's come from outside of Lebanon, Tennessee? You're here this morning, and you're not in here. You just come a little further out. There's a few here. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand. Outside, 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 outside. My goodness. How many is here outside of the state? of Tennessee you're not even in the state I've got some folks give the Lord a hand for here outside <laughs> hallelujah man of God and woman of God where, where y'all from again tell us Mississippi is in the house <laughs> huh? Mississippi they got maters and taters up there in the hills <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Anyone else? You, you just you, you, from another state now. You, you you either move there or you're there now or whatever. But you're here this morning. Anybody? You, you're out there somewhere. <laughs> I, I got you. Here's a Colorado man in the house. I know where. Give the Lord a hand for Colorado is in the house. <laughs> Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? You just wish you were from another state. <laughs> Amen. We got what? Mississippi, way down at the Gulf, in the house. Woo. Amen. Hey, they're close to uh, Louisiana, so they know all about crawdads and, and all that good gum jambalaya. Y'all can fix them, I know. <laughs> amen, amen. Anyone else? You were not born in this country. You are born somewhere else. Anyone here in the house? Can I ask you where? Canada, eh? Yeah, Canada is in the house. Woo! Canada in the house right here. <laughs> One of our uh, uh, leaders up here teaching the word of God. Praise the Lord. And we got some folks all the way from the Philippines uh, in the house. The United Nations, I'm telling you. <laughs> Who else we got? One or two South Africans are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are here. Watch them. Watch them. Amen. Hallelujah. Russia is in the house. Who else we got? Who else we got? Colombia. Goal. <laughs> Latvia is in the house. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Anybody from Tennessee? <laughs> You're in the house. <laughs> Touch somebody and say, there's power in the name, the name of Jesus. In John chapter 1, I got to start here because it says, in the beginning, much like Genesis 1, in the beginning, remember, John says, in the beginning was the Word. Somebody say, the Word. And the Word was with God. Say, with God. And the Word was God. Say, He was God. You see, He was in the beginning. He was with God. And He was God. And then if you continue reading, I notice in verse number 4, He says, In Him was life. Somebody say life. Aren't you glad in Him is life? Not death, but life. That's why He came to give us life. Life more abundantly. What did he do? He came to give us himself. When you have Jesus, you have life. When you have Jesus, you have life. I'm here to declare to you, if you do not have him, oh, death is ever present. But when you have him, you have life. And the life was the light of men. That is so beautiful. The life. That was in him was the light of men. Men was in darkness. How many know that? 
until Jesus showed up. I thought of that. I thought, oh my, I got to say uh, uh, what Isaiah is, has been saying in Isaiah 60. Remember what Isaiah says? Can we go there? He says, arise, shine, right? For your light has come. He just connected so beautifully. I mean, you, you could just put it together. He says, when he came, he was the life that became men's light. And now Isaiah has already prophesied. He says, rise up, shine, for your light has come. Who has come? Jesus is here. He has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. If we continue over in John, the 14th chapter, he says, and the word became flesh. Somebody say the word became flesh. These are things that we know. And he says that word not only became flesh, but dwelt or lived among us. Talking still about the word who was with God in the beginning, who was God, who became flesh. And then started moving among us, dwelling among us. And they said, and John said, and we beheld his glory, right? The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. Oh, what a wonderful Jesus. Hallelujah. In Philippians, can I just give you some word today? In the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 9. You can read the entire portion, but let me just pick it up here for time's sake. He says, therefore, somebody says, therefore. Brother Don always says, if there's a therefore, what, what, how do you put it? <laughs> then you find out what he's there for. <laughs> and it's a wonderful teaching. We will come up on a Tuesday morning, come out and just enjoy the presence. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him. Who's that him? Jesus. The word of God. God highly exalted him and given him the name. There's the name. I know there's a lot of names out there, but he got the name. Which is above every name. Hallelujah. He's above every name. And at the name of who? Jesus. Every knee. Oh. Shall bow. And he talks about every knee shall bow in heaven. Everything in heaven's got to bow to Jesus' name. Angels bow. Created beings, seraphim, cherubim, bow at the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. This is, this is just good stuff. So as I, as, I be, as I see this and just you begin to read that whole portion. And he's been given a name above every other name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Can I just declare this morning? There is power in the name of Jesus. Can I get a witness up in here? Can I tell you there's healing in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Their salvation in the name. No, no, don't, don't say that name again. You hear me? Oh, that name that messes me up. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Do you know? Do you know how hard I work to get that name out of schools? I work hard to get that name out of colleges and universities. I mean. Come on, don't, don't go there. Because you know what? They're mine. No, they they're not. all mine. No, they're not. They belong to Jesus. Hey, Satan. Hey. They belong to Jesus who purchased hey. them at the cross of Calvary. No, no, no. Oh, okay, wait. 2,000 years ago. No, no. Oh, oh, shh, shh. The blood of Jesus. No. Oh, hi. Now, I, I know. I know, I know. And it's it people like you that I hate. Ooh. People like you, preacher. Some people, how oh, oh, God loves you, and the, and then you go, oh, and He's got a wonderful plan for your life. Ha! They say it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <sighs> but but you know something I did really good. Okay, I made this invention, the Big Bang Theory. 
And I got millions of people believing it. This is my invention. I mean, come on, give me some credit because I did a good job. I mean, I even have them preaching it in schools. Satan, you're a liar. Hey! And you're the father ah. of lies. Everything you say is a lie. <laughs> Don't, don't let them hear you say that. They're going to they're gonna hear you and they're not going to believe me. Because, well, you know what? Because i got to be honest about once in my life. Y'all do a good job of worship. So we can talk about worship in this place because you guys do it all the time. And, you know, you do a pretty good job. And I would know because, you know... Up when I was kicking it with God up in heaven, and I, I was worshiping there, but till I, till I got kicked out. But you know what? I just I love whenever people show up late to church, and better yet, better yet, I love when people don't even come to church because then they miss out on the whole worshiping God thing. Huh. Stupid. Why do you need to do that? Well, you could be worshiping me here. Come on. I got people all over the world worshiping me. And they're doing it blindly. They don't know. You don't know. So, my plan's barking. Tell you what. But you sow all kind of evil stuff. No, okay. And another one of my talents, I tell you what, I love sewing. I mean, call me a seamstress because I love sewing. I just, I sew a little discord in there, you know, and I sew a little hatred and jealousy. Ooh, but one of my favorite things I sew is sexual perversion. Ooh, it gets them every time. <laughs> Oh, sexual perversion, just sewing in secret place and, and whenever you're just alone together and we love each other so much. So, you know, I just sew a little bit of that in there. Believers, we have power over you. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you go there, there's just... Can I ask something of you? Could you do me a favor? Don't even... Don't, don't tell them about that third person in the Trinity. You mean the Holy Spirit? Oh, no, no! I just said, don't say it. Why are you saying it? Ooh, don't tell them how he'll give them power and authority to, to cast me out. What the heck is that? I mean, I got people convinced all over the world that he doesn't even exist. What you teaching about him for? Oh, he's real, all right. He's real. No. He's given us the authority. No, no, no. He's given us the power. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Satan, your finished. time is no. up. It's Ooh. enough. I bind you in the name no. of Jesus. Don't say that. We cast you out with your lies and your sickness and your hordes. Go from this place. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout in the name of. Shout in the name of. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell you what, he's a favor, favorite. He loves to, to show up at church. And he, he, I mean, he told us what he's doing. He was just blunt open and says, sowing discord and confusion and distractions. Gossip. Your mind is all confused. But we found him out today. He's a liar. And the truth is not in him. Give him no space in your life. Hallelujah. He's a defeated foe. And don't you treat him as anything different. He's been defeated 2,000 years ago. But he'll sneak up on you. He'll try to lie to you. Convince you that God doesn't exist. Oh, there's no Holy Spirit. That's a good one. But we know there's power. Hallelujah. We know Father, Son, Holy Spirit in the house. Amen. Oh, can I just continue? I, I just want to finish up here today. I just got a few moments left, but I can't leave it there because he is a defeated foe. There is power in the name of Jesus. And we're going to continue to expose him and lift up the name, the bloodstained banner of Jesus in this house. There is power in the name. And you know the Bible says in Hebrews 13, 8, what does it say? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. His love is not going to change. His power cannot change. His mercy, His grace. Isn't that? He said in John, He came to give us what is two things there. Grace and truth. 
That's what you have. You have grace and truth in your life. So you can conquer. You can, you can overcome any adversity. In Colossians chapter 3, I want you to notice with me. Our team is standing by. I just wanted to, you to know not to be afraid or intimidated by the voice or the actions of the enemy. You have more power than the devil. Did you know that? My pastor used to say, I've got more power than the devil. And you got to declare that every day. God has given us authority over him. Give him no room. Give him no space. The greater one lives on the inside of you. That's why we can do anything and all things. But note what Colossians is saying to us. He says, and whatever you do in word or deed. Somebody say word or deed. Whatever you do in word or deed. Watch this. Do all things in the name. Oh, come on. Of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and Father through him. Giving thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have authority. Whatever you ask in his name. That's why the enemy don't like that name. He, he wants to stop that name. But we know at the very whisper of the name of Jesus, demons, the Bible says, trembles. We're not saying his name. We're not using his name. We're not exalting his name enough. That's why he feels at home. Boy, we're going to burn his hide in this house. We're going to give him a taste of what's to come for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, whatever you do in word and deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Somebody say, by him. Hallelujah. John 14 and 13 says, and whatsoever you ask. Whatsoever you shall ask in where? In my name. Not in other folks' name. You ask in Jesus' name. Whatever you ask in my name. I love this. He says, I'll do it. I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Whatever you ask in my name. He says, I'll do it. If you continue reading, he says it again. He says, just in case you didn't hear what I said, and he repeats it back in verse number 13. He says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> I will do it. Somebody say, he says, I will do it. He said, later on, he says, you've asked me nothing. And that's why we don't have anything. We don't come in authority and in that power, in that name. Don't play with the name. Use the name. He's given you power over, of attorney that you can go and bind and loose in his name. You can command in his name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't, don't y'all, don't, don't let me bring him back in here. <laughs> you know, he's like a snake. He just slurs right in there. When you don't notice, he comes in. We've got to learn how to use the name of Jesus properly. Because that's where the power is at. That's where things begin to happen. Was it R.W. Schambach was in, was in India at one time and preaching a gospel. You probably heard of how he ministered over there. How many remember R.W.? He had, he, he had a great mentor. I mean, A.A. Uh, uh, a. Allen and, every, and all these others. Man, you young ones, I don't know if y'all remember. You got to be older than me and that's getting up there. <laughs> but he said he was over there some time back and there was all these people worshiping all kind of gods. And he said, I was not going to fight with them over what they do. He just said, bring me somebody blind or was the boy crippled or whatever. And he says, we're going to pray in whatever God you serve. We're going to pray in his name. And he says, let's start praying in the name of Muhammad. Let's see if Muhammad could heal this boy. And so they said, everybody pray together in the name of Muhammad. Let this boy be healed. They said, nothing happened. And they waited and people be, began to yell and scream. And then he went down the list of all these other gods that the people would worship. Nothing would happen. And he said, now we're going to stop. We will never utter those words again. We don't pray in their name because they're powerless, they're dead. They can't help you. 
But he says, I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus who rose from the dead on the third day, who's alive and who's right here right now. Let's everybody join in faith and pray in the name of Jesus. And when they did, the little boy started moving and things began to happen. And he started running and God had healed. In Jesus' name, heal that little boy. And many, many people came to know Jesus. Would somebody give the Lord a shout of praise? In your Bible, the Bible says Peter and John, you've heard this before, you read it before, went on their way to the temple to pray around about nine o'clock that morning. And as they went, there was a man, said, Bible said he was a certain man was brought and laid at the gate of the temple. The gate's name was Beautiful. This guy was kind of sharp. He says, if I stay here at the pretty gate, and all these folks go up into church, they'll give me something. And so he would sit there day after day after day after day. And this day happened where Peter and John was on their way to the temple to pray. And they saw the man. And the Bible says they, 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 the guy kind of looked at them asking for arms. Now I want you to go with me to chapter 3. And he's asking for arms and... and, and uh, expecting I love that word he said he was expecting something from them but the Bible says and fixing his eyes on him with John Peter said look on us look on us oh listen you can preach right here Christians I pray for the day that people would look at you and I and see Jesus that they won't see us with all our ups and downs, with our mood swings and all. Let them see Jesus. We'll, be, we, we'll have confidence to say, look on us. Because what we have is a little different. Can I get an amen? Look on us, they said. And then the Bible said, so he gave them his attention. He gave heed to them. Right? Expecting to receive something from them. I like that. I like that. Are you expecting from the Lord? Listen, this is just not no ordinary service here. Here, Here's where lives are transformed. Here's where we expect a miracle. Here's where we expect to meet the one we're singing about. To expect the one. That's what happened the other day in Brownsville down the revival. They interviewed some folks and there was a man from up north. He's a construction worker. I'm just thinking about these things. And people were standing in lines trying to get into that revival meeting. We were there. And so one guy, it was 2020 that interviewed the guy. Said, where are you from? You know, he mentioned the town or name from up north. He said, "Uh, so what do you do? construction worker well what are you doing here he said well I was working one morning and I was just getting ready and I heard a voice say go down to Pensacola I'm going to meet you there and he goes what who just said that and he goes back to working and he felt uh, the voice say to him again heard the voice say again go down to Pensacola and that's where I'm going to meet you he had no idea I mean nothing And so he said, I went home, tried to find out what's going on in Pensacola. I know I knew they had nice beaches over there. I didn't need that. I'm a worker, but I had lots of, I need, I need a miracle. And my life is falling apart. So he said, I'm checking out what's going on in Pensacola. What's the hottest thing going on? I mean, what's happening in Pensacola? And what came up was the revival at Brownsville. And he said, so I just, uh, Got in my truck, and, 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 and here I am. I came early, and I'm standing in line. And they said, what do you expect now? He said, I'm expecting that voice that told me to come down. I'm expecting to meet him when I go in those doors. That's expecting something when you come into the house of God. Don't ever show up in God's presence and not expecting anything. This man expected something from them. And verse number six says, And when Peter said, Silver and gold do I not have, but what I have I give you. In the name, here it goes again, see? In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. There's something about that name, friend. There's just something about that name. (laughs) In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. I notice one thing that we so many times make a mistake with. and Oh, we see somebody in need, have a problem, have a sickness. Have, oh, Father, oh, Jesus, if it be thy will. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, the man didn't. He looked at the man and said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. You command what you want to see happen. 
I'm helping somebody today. Stop praying in unbelief. Father, if it be thy will, how many know it's God's will to heal? It's God's will to prosper you. Have no doubt about it. It's God's will that your marriage work. It's your God's will that your children are saved. It's his will. So once you find out what his will is and what his promises are connected to, you can ask. You can ask what you will. In my name, he said, and I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, hallelujah. This is so amazing. I, I just, I, I'm closing here. Silver and gold I don't have, but such as I have. We're lacking something in our lives, aren't we? We're lacking something. There's a void. There's something missing. Peter, full of confidence, says, such as I have. I've got something for you. It's not money. It's something better than money. It's something money can't buy. In the name of Jesus. He had the name. He had the authority in that name. Rise up and walk. And when he said that, he took the man by the... I just could see Peter. He's kind of rough, you know. He's not tender. <laughs> He's kind of rough. He's like a John the Baptist rough. He don't fit in a whole lot of churches, you know. They're going to throw him out. But he grabbed the man by his right hand, lifted him up. And it says immediately his feet and his ankle bones received strength. Can we just continue reading? Can we just continue reading? Oh my goodness, continue. So he did something. He, he did something. He didn't question the man. He didn't say, what are you doing? How dare you grab me? He just leaped up stood and walked and entered the temple with them watch this walking leaping praising God walking leaping praising God walking leaping pra- how is that I don't know what that looks like walking leaping pray Donovan help me man what how does walking leaping come show me come show me what does that look I just know you know how uh, walking leaping pray walking leaping praising God walking leaping praising God hallelujah somebody hallelujah thank you Donovan you couldn't stop this man because something had happened in his life at the name of Jesus he walked he leaped and praise God that's what's missing in your life oh listen God has already done so much for us what are you waiting on what, I mean, seriously, what are you waiting on? Well, when he, when he does his, uh, well, he's already done so much. Didn't he save you? How many know that's worth walking, leaping, and praising? Didn't he wash you in his blood and forgive your sins? That's worth walking, leaping, praising God. Didn't he heal your body? How many can shout, he healed my body? That's worth me walking, leaping. I mean, you just skipping and praising God. Begin to make an inventory. Begin to write down and find out what exactly did God do for me. You will start walking, leaping, praising God. Let's continue reading because, yeah, yeah, keep that keyboard coming. There's There's an atmosphere of miracles in the house. Ah, there's an atmosphere of breakthrough in the house. Somebody's getting their chains broken off. I felt that earlier. Listen, if that's you, you ought to be walking, leaping, praising God. No strolling, no taking your time, no, uh, uh, you know, just an attitude of, well, whatever. No, walking, leaping, praising God, giving God the glory for what he's done. That's the problem with the church. We don't give God the glory for what he's already done in our lives somebody ought to walk and leap and praise the Lord verse number nine says and all the people saw him oh yeah let them see you they'll see me exactly they saw him walking and praising God and they knew that it was he who was begging alms They knew you were the one that was going through such a turmoil and and, and things in your life. 
they'll take notice and they knew he was the guy that was sitting at the gate at the temple and they were filled with wonder you're leaping you're walking you're praising God will stop them and fill them with wonder don't you walk down in Walmart all depressed all mad you know cussing at the teller and if you do that don't tell them you come to love's way we're going to have a talk. <laughs> I mean, come on. How are you going to get people to be filled with wonder if you're going to continue to act like you do? I'll be meal up in people's grill and talking bad and slandering and, and all this mean stuff. No! How are they going to be filled with wonder? Hallelujah. They were filled with wonder and amazement of what had happened to him. What happened? He got Jesus. He got healed. Let's continue reading. This is so good. Now as the lame man who was what? Yeah. Held on to Peter and John and all the people ran together to them. They're running to them at the porch that was called Solomon's. Here's your porch, Solomon. And they were greatly amazed. Continue in verse number 12. So when Peter saw it, he responded and said to the people, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why do you look intently at us like we did something? Don't take the glory for what God has done. If God used you to pray for somebody, that don't you take the glory. I'm going to write a book how to heal people. I hope the book burns before it even gets published. Why are you looking at us? As though by our, our own power or holiness or godliness, we had made this man walk. Come on, somebody. Don't take the credit. Don't take the glory. God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. The God of our fathers glorified his servant, Jesus. So you're not mistaken who he glorified his servant, Jesus. Whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate. When he was determining to let him go. 14. But you denied the Holy One and the just. And asked for a murderer to be granted to you. This is just good reading it again, isn't it? Just good reading it again, the Word of God. And you killed, watch this, the Prince of Life. You did that. You killed the Prince of Life. Whom God raised from the dead. Ah. Of which we are witnesses. Number 16. And His name, underline here. And His name name somebody say his name through faith in his name say that with me through his name and through faith in his name ah. <laughs> has given him the perfect soundness in the presence of all has made him strong ah in the fourth chapter if we'll go there I'll read some of that but it says now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John they took notice all right it says they perceived that they were uneducated untrained another translation said they perceived that they were idiots well that gives me hope that the name will work for idiots the name will work when you don't know what's going the name and faith in his name you don't have to know the whole Torah or the whole thing you just need to know the name and have faith in the name of Jesus can I get an amen in the house all Peter ever knew was fishing I said the other day he wasn't a good fisherman anyway. Fished all night long, caught nothing. That, that's not good. Ignorant, untrained, unlearned. But they perceived. Not only that they were untrained, unlearned, but watch this. And they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. 
Have you spent some time with Jesus lately? Where are you spending most of your time? Huh? Watching Dancing with the Stars. Where do you spend the most of your time? What kind of shows? What, what, what is taking what your time? I'm not talking when you go to work. We got to work. I get that. But in your leisure, well, what do you expect me to do? Stay in the Word day and night. If you want to be successful. If you want this Word to work for you or this name to work for you. Don't be surprised if it's not working for you. Because you're not spending time in the Word. And in that name. And have faith in that name. I'm here to declare to you the name of Jesus still has power to save still got power to heal still has power to deliver don't 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 give up on the name of Jesus just because you didn't see it happen yesterday it may happen today he's the same yesterday today and forever just because you say well I prayed but I didn't see anything keep on having faith keep on declaring keep on believing and having faith in that name you will see something something's going to happen Let's believe again. Let's hope again. Let's declare that name again with confidence. You have the power of attorney. You have been given the name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. How beautiful is that name. How precious is that name. The name of Jesus. Stand all over this place today. I just come to declare to you there's still power. In the name of Jesus. I wanted to bring that little illustration of a skit, just a little bit of how powerful the name of Jesus is. How the enemy would come and deceive us with all kinds of thoughts and things and whatever to attack us, to defeat us, to bring us down. But remember, you have been given authority. You've been given authority. When I was a little boy, my mother, I heard my daddy preach, I heard, but it was my mama who, who would sit next to me or kneel next to me and, and, and teach me how to pray in the name of Jesus we had a big old farmhouse that was kind of scary the stuff was going on in it I don't want to go into it but stuff was going I don't know y'all been in houses like that oh I don't believe in that you'll believe it when you come to that one I lived in and I would not want to go down to my bedroom I, did, I didn't want to be in the dark I still hate darkness today don't like it. Ask my wife. Ask my, I just walk in a room, flip on switches. They can come behind me and turn them off, but I just turn them on. I want light. I'm the light. I'm not going to walk in darkness. Amen. And she would hold my hand and say, John, when you feel scared or anxious, just say Jesus. You just whisper his name. Jesus. And I did that. I didn't know how to pray. I was young. But I knew I could say, Jesus. Jesus. And I tell you, <laughs> His presence is real. In the midnight hour, say the name of Jesus. When all hell seemed to be breaking loose and you feel like you have no answer, the answer is still, Jesus. No matter what you're going through, what kind of problems you face, Jesus is your answer. In the name and faith in the name will make the difference. Therefore, he says, whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it for you. How many is ready for a miracle today? I don't know what it is that you need today, but I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to ask you, come and let together you and I declare his name over whatever situation is in your life i want my prayer warriors to come line up if you will all our prayer team you guys come let's worship the lord for a moment we're going to pray in the name no other name but the name of jesus we're not going to pray no five hour 20 minute prayer we just declare in the name of jesus and we're going to see miracles begin to happen if you have a need i want you to feel free to come come and just just find somebody here let us these people are, are, are people of faith are people of prayer there is power I know every one of them. So I want you to come. Let us begin to worship the Lord. Let us begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Break right every now, here in front of you. Break every right chain. In Jesus' name. Come on.
There is power yes, yes. in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. There's still power, friends. There, there is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There's power, there's power to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, Whoa, break, every, break, every chain. break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yeah. Oh, sufficient sacrifice, 